want to make your own, let me tell you about Anchor. It's free. The creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Now you can even add any song from Spotify directly into your episodes. The possibilities are endless for what you can create, whether it's music analysis, your own radio show or something the world's never heard before. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. Plus, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum (laughs) listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So guys, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Anchor is sponsoring another ad. Guys, do you like this show and want to make your own? Let me tell you about Anchor. Anchor is free and there's certain tools that allow you to record and edit right from your phone or computer. Best of all, with Anchor, you can add any songs from Spotify directly to your episodes. And who doesn't like songs? The possibilities are endless for what you can create, whether it's music analysis, your own radio show, a deep dive on your favorite genre or artist, or something the world's never heard before, like Ilya's name. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Anchor will even help publish your show to Spotify so you can reach hundreds of millions of listeners. Guys, if you have an idea for a show with music, get started by downloading the free Anchor app or going to anchor.fm. If you need inspiration, head over to blog.anchor.fm slash music for some idea starters. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Lightwits Podcast. My name's Joe, and I'm here with... Ilya Fedorovich. I am the guest for today's podcast. No, you're the host. Oh, shit, right. Uh, Every uh, episode, you're always the host. Right, right, right. Okay, host. Um, Our passenger today no is... guest guest shit dude i can't get it right <laughs> our guest today is breck passenger she is in some movies called 47 meters down star girl which is a tv show where she's a superhero which is fucking really cool she's in the dc universe incredible she was on nickelodeon she had her own tv show called bella and the bulldog she's done a lot she was also on school of rock the goldberg she's crushing it okay here's breck <laughs> what's, what's up guys, up, guys? Dude, you have to stop doing that. You tell me to go for it, and then you start talking. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> we normally don't argue. Right. I heard. <laughs> uh, today, Breck, thanks for coming by. Hi, it's Breck. Wait, Hello. Breck, Breck is such a cool name. Breck. Ilya. I-L-Y-A. Breck. Totally didn't ask how to spell B- his name five minutes ago. B-R-E-C-K. Just Why did you have... Okay, B-R-E-C-K. I was about to be like, really? B-R-E-C-K. Everyone always puts a K on it. It's no, not okay. okay. No, okay, no, okay. Yes, yeah, so anyway, we have Breck here. And uh, she is a movie star. She's a TV show star. There you go. She's been on movies like, and <laughs> keep in mind, I'm just going to be completely honest with you, you're the first guest that I've actually like looked into and like done research on. Okay. All of our previous guests, I've just kind of winged it. Ilya's never showed up here with a laptop and notes before, but here we are. <laughs> I don't know if I should be like honored, like wow you care, or like wow I'm so little. He has no idea who I no, am. No, but but all of our previous guests, I've known who about, they were, and me right. like who is this? No, no, girl? no, not don't even. Don't know her no. work at all. <laughs> no, no, not like You're that. You're digging like, yourself a hole. No, not like that. But like, okay. <laughs> Anyways, she was in movies like Forty Seven Meters Down. Is yes, right? yes. Forty Seven Meters Down, Star Girl. You're you're yes. still you're still in Star Girl. Yes. Okay. And so, yeah, we're, we're glad to have you. And She's not in Star Girl. I she am is. Star Girl. She is Star Girl. Yes. Dude, she has the scepter at her house. The scepter? It's a staff. It's the staff, sorry. <laughs> scepter, my queen. That's pretty dope. <laughs> you're, you're our first superhero on this podcast. Oh, I'm glad. I'm honored. Super. Wait, so you're, you're part of DC, right? Mm-hmm, the DC universe. And my question is then, can you at any point transition from DC to, to Marvel? Marvel? You know, I actually looked into this at the very beginning of being casted because I want to play as many superheroes as possible. And Tom Hardy, he's done both. Ryan Reynolds, he's done oh, both. Really? So I can fully do both. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds, he was um, Green Lantern and then Deadpool. Uh, oh, I didn't know. I didn't realize those. Tom Hardy was like, he's Venom and Bane. Oh, he's Bane? Yeah. Batman? That's cool. He got to be is two he? bad guys. Am I making this up? Am I messing? No, he is. He's Bane, right? Tom let me, Hardy? Let me fact check this. Hold on. I actually am night. Me is in a DC show. Doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> also loves Tom Hardy. Also doesn't know. That's pretty sick. We're fact checking too now. We have notes. We're, we're fact checking. We're just a completely different different podcast. No, it's, it is Tom Hardy. With Breck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, what the fuck? <laughs> they fact check stuff now? <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Tom Hardy. Boom. Do you remember where you were when you got the role for Stargirl? Yes. I was at the airport going to the Bahamas because I'd actually changed my flight. I was supposed to fly out that morning, but they're like, hey, can you come do the screen test? And I was in a weird place in my acting career. And I was like, okay, 
because I'd just been up for a show and I didn't get it. It was me and one other girl. So I was just like, I'm not going to get anything. What is this? So I said, guys, I have a trip to the Bahamas planned. If I'm not going to get it, let me know so I don't have to change my flight. They're like, no, it's really important that you go. Obviously, they hadn't made a decision yet. The network hadn't even seen the people. But um, I'm glad I changed my flight. And the showrunner, he is so amazing. He called me. He goes, Breck, I just wanted you to know that you're our star girl before you go on vacation. So it was literally That's sick. an hour after I had left. The, normally, they wouldn't tell you till like Monday. It was on a Friday. They would tell you Monday. But he wanted to make sure I knew before I got on the plane and left. That's wow. so cool. What age did you start acting at? I started acting training when I was 10. I finally bugged my mom enough to let me do it. That's crazy. And then professionally since I was 13. Did you graduate high school? I did. One of the few actors who has. Wow. Well. Yes. College, don't let's not talk about it. <laughs> Where did you go? University of Santa Barbara? No, I no? no, don't ask because I didn't go. Oh, you didn't go to college. That's what you're <laughs> saying. Said, didn't, he wants to talk about it anyway. Okay, <laughs> it's all good. I didn't go to college either. No. Did you? Yeah, where'd you go? Did you get a degree? Uh, NYU, yeah, bullshit. Uh, I mean, Montclair State University. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I did take classes at LAVC. Uh, Brian Cranston went there, so that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Los Angeles Valley College. You were also the star of Bella and the Bulldogs, a Nickelodeon TV show. Mm-hmm. You I can tell Elliot's were- a big fan. You you played the quarterback. Oh, I did! Oh, yeah! yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I fucking did, I did my research. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask, how is that? Because you played on an all-boys team, right? So like, that's Which is cool. funny, because when I was three... <laughs> I was on an all boys T ball team. So I think it was like manifesting my future. Uh, it was great. It was such a fun experience. There were so many fun things about being on Nickelodeon that I didn't expect getting into acting, but like getting to go to the Kids' Choice Awards and getting to get slimed and yeah. like specifically being on a football show. I got to go to the I got to go to the fiftieth Super Bowl and the NFL Summit and just things like that that really make this job special did you know how and did you know how to play football or did you know about football prior to that role absolutely okay being i'm from texas so right. i grew up around football but i could not have told you the difference between offense and defense the the two writers of the show when i booked it they they came and gave me a football they're like let's see what you got just hit the ground didn't know how to throw a spiral they did get me in training camp uh that's so, that's so cool yeah how old are you like 15 uh 14 15 yeah wow and by the end i was i was one of the boys the, that's yeah, so cool it was cool it's funny though because while i was filming even though i like enjoyed playing football on set i wasn't into football and they would always be like oh do you want to go to the dallas cowboys training camp i'm like no because i don't care because i don't care about football and now i'm the biggest football fan like diehard cowboys fan won't miss that's a, a game team. Love them. Yeah, I'm from I'm from Dallas. Right, right. I, I have to. It's in my blood. Wow. Was that the first show you saw yourself on, on TV? No, it was the Goldbergs. You were on the Goldbergs. I was. The pilot episode, the very first episode. Wow. Was, You're the reason for their success. Yep, me. My my three lines as the waitress. Dang. Zoe. Actually, I think they cut my cut my name. I was originally Zoe, and then I just became waitress. But it's fine. <laughs> Zoe. I think I like gave her a last name just myself, so that made me feel better. <laughs> Zoe Trachtenberg. Oh, you do know her. <laughs> yeah, big fan. <laughs> I read that you you were a competitive cheerleader, so I know that, that that's a fact, but what I wanted to ask you was, did you do track? I did do track. You did do track. How'd you know that? Or why Why do you ask? Because I did track. What events did you do in track? I'm in love track. Okay. Uh, I did the 100, the 200, the 4x1, and the 4x2. Did you do yes! that too? Oh my, okay. Those oh, are kids, so cool. kids you're not. Okay, so we could only do five events on my team. Yeah. One, 100, 200, 4x1, 4x2. Oh, that's so cool. And then I also did pole vaulting and high jump. But Yo, I did pole vaulting too and high jump. <laughs> you lied. I you, okay, he's I making this up. I feel like you're like Dead pulling ass. my leg. Dead ass. Okay. Dead. I, was, I was so excited to ask you the question because like, holy shit, there's no way she's Okay, what's your too. PR 100? Um, I think 11 one. I'm not a, okay. That's way faster than mine. Mine was like 14 something. But, I was gonna, what, but I'm a girl, so. What about your pole vault? How, how high did you pole vault? Um, seven. It wasn't very good. I I didn't. I was that person who was like, averagely good at everything, but never the best at anything. Right, right, right. Like B team always, but star of B team. Do you still run? Do you ever still just like go to a track and be like, I'm gonna go? Oh my god, yeah, totally. Really? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I like sometimes I practice like hundreds. Yeah. Okay. How are you at long distance? Because for me, anything over a mile, I'm dead. 
Like I'm strictly I, I, a sprinter. I'm actually I am too, but recently in like the last year I've started doing long distance. Like I've ran like 15 mile runs, like That's 10 awesome. mile runs. That's awesome. Yeah, I did one time I ate too much ice cream and I, I ran 10 <laughs> miles on that on that treadmill. <laughs> and watched oh, the yeah. Food Network on the TV in front yeah, of it. <laughs> pretty much. He ran to the boxing gym in Santa Monica one day just to try it out. How far is that? Uh, like 15 miles. I'm hoping you got an Uber back. Well, I had my friend drive my car, but yeah, I, okay. I definitely didn't run back. And like, was yeah, it was crazy because I ran there. I was fucking so tired. And then and you then did I the boxed. boxing workout on top of yeah. that. It's just like, it is such a good workout. It's- yeah, it is really crazy. Um, <laughs> How about you, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we just had to yeah. like go on a tangent. What do you yeah. like to do for workout? I love track and field. It's actually my favorite oh, thing. What was, <laughs> what's your favorite run? Uh, <laughs> what's your 100 run? <laughs> I forget. It's just so long. It's like ago. somewhere between like ten and twelve. <laughs> ten and twelve, yeah, <laughs> roughly. But um, anyways, <laughs> uh, anyways, what were we saying? Um, <laughs> anyway, Star Girl. <laughs> <laughs> As an actor, do you prefer to book a TV show or a movie? Ooh, honestly, I prefer work. Just uh, in general. Just in general, just give me a job, please. Uh, I think there's pros to both. Like, there's something so special about a film where you just get to go for a few months, throw yourself into a role, and never look back. But then as an actor like consistency is so rare so getting to go back and know your crew know your cast and have a consistent job like that's so rare and I'm I'm really grateful that I've gotten to do that a few times now because a lot of actors never get consistency you are very successful and you're 21 yeah you're you're (laughs) killing it you You are are killing killing it it. thank you I'm, I'm very proud of myself I I work really hard so you have a pretty big following on social media I think you have 1.7 million on Instagram sure um, I was gonna ask can you tell people to follow me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you shout me out shout out for shout out <laughs> like for like are you cool posting a picture of me on your page no I've never I've actually never talked to um, an actress or actor about this that has a social media following yeah you have a very big one for being an actor yes but also I wanted to ask like do you then also consider yourself an influencer and like do you take on brand deals and like do stuff that at that a strict influencer would do or do you Mm. kind of like just have your platform to have it and you just have fun with it like what's your what's your take on that it's hard like because the lines are so blurred nowadays i definitely don't consider myself an influencer i'm like an actor would be first and foremost completely but it's not like i'm a against the things that come with being an influencer actually joe helped me with a, a brand deal a few years ago i had to do like a video and i i wasn't i wasn't gonna do it because that's it's not my cup of tea it's not what um it doesn't come as genuine to me yeah and my agents were like but preck did you see how much money you can make and i was <laughs> i literally told my dad i was like i don't want to do he goes Breck, you get over there and you do it and it actually was so fun and I loved the product and that that's the thing that's really important for me like if I'm to do anything it has to feel genuine with like my brand as an individual because it right and the roles I play as an actor aren't me so I can play any role and it doesn't have to align with my like my morals or what I want but like when it's you promoting something I feel like it has to you gotta like it exactly yeah so oh yeah I'm I'll do it it's just not my so you would never promote like fake airpods or anything like that like Joe and I have a company, and we, we're looking for sponsor, or we're looking for. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Do we? I was gonna stay quiet. I was like, say yes now, and then I'll leave. <laughs> we uh, we went to Santa Monica that day. It was a lot of fun when we shot Brex Brand deal. It was really fun. She bought me ice cream. What was it? What was the deal? What it was, was for it was for HP Sprocket. But you know, like the thing that you you get the app and you can print out basically little polaroid photos from your phone so you take a photo and it prints it right away and it was really cool like i actually i bought the product for my grandma and every year for christmas now i buy her the refills for it oh that's I, fun like this was years ago and i'm still promoting the product because it's such a, i really liked it it was yeah. so cool that's cool um i also read that you're uh <laughs> <laughs> wow I'm like going down the list like <laughs> so on page three of Google I noticed <laughs> I gotta get better at like how I like fucking introduce dude I've introduced the fact I'm pumped we have notes this is sick uh, I did read that you're a ventriloquist oh gosh shut up you, you didn't know, know that, that? no <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, where the heck did you read that? I need to go get that article removed. Page 17 um, of your MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, MySpace. <laughs> yeah, how did you get into that? And do you still do it? Well, actually, how I like got into acting is I started in natural beauty pageants. They're not like what you see on TV. I always have to say that first because people automatically are like, oh, do you have a stage mom? And I'm like, no, my mom's amazing. Anyway, so through that, it was kind of more of like the type of pageants I did were more in line with like the Miss America. You did an interview and you had um, a talent portion. So my talent portion was ventriloquism. And I would talk with the puppet and we'd do like a little scene and then we'd sing. I hate singing and I will, I don't know who got me to sing. That's the the one part of pageants. I'm like, why did you do that, Brick? So do you do it anymore? Like for fun? No. No? No. Damn. Can you Sorry. try to make Ilya talk? <laughs> I don't just... think he needs help with that. <laughs> <laughs> Ilya, open your mouth. Let's just say. <laughs> no. I haven't done it in so long. I was good at it for a while. Actually, my puppet's name was Bob. So the whole thing is like with ventriloquism is you talk without moving your mouth. But the there's like two letters you can't properly do without moving your mouth. And one of them's B. Like when you say B, your lips go together. B. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. And I named my dummy Bob. Uh. Like, I'm like, what an idiot. Who let the nine-year-old name her, name her dummy? A, dummy. a real dummy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at us say the same joke. <laughs> so do you like Jeff Dunham then? Have you seen his stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, back when I did it, he was, um, I, you know, he's not... I wasn't quite the demographic nine-year-old girl, but right, um, right, right. yeah, now he's super funny. When I scooped you up today, mm-hmm. you had a script with you. I did. A couple I, scripts. A, a couple. How much time do you put into learning every single word? <laughs> uh, it depends who's asking. If you ask the people who are watching my auditions, I'm completely off book and I know every word. If you see me do it, you see um, my mom holding the computer in the background as I read off the computer screen. for Because auditions. auditions now are on Zoom? No, no. Well, yes, we do taped auditions. We don't have live auditions anymore. Oh. But even like before the pandemic, I would say 50% of my auditions were all tapes because it's just easier for casting. They can watch it whenever and they can just keep going back to it. Uh, <laughs> so I, I prompt it. I don't memorize those lines. Absolutely not. Oh, wow. I, <laughs> were the scripts uh, for Stargirl or was it for something else? Uh, it was for auditions. One, Yeah, it was just for auditions. Different stuff. Like I said, I just won't work. Jurassic Park 7. Sorry, I said it. <laughs> Darn. I signed an NDA, Joe. What the crap? Fuck. Frick. Can we curse with you or no? Do you want to stop? You, no, you can. I just don't. So why are you in LA now? Are you just visiting or? Yeah, just visiting. Dude, the timing of this was perfect. Breck just finished filming Stargirl season two. Coming to CW. <laughs> when? October? I don't know. Maybe summer sometime. Summer sometime. <laughs> She's here for five days and I texted her this morning. Yeah, I, I literally like, haven't been in, a, in L.A. in eight months, and I get a text from Joe this morning saying, hey, are you in town? I'm like, actually, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Oh, wait, that mm-hmm. is fucking crazy. So do you, um, do, this is my, might be a silly question, but do you know other actors slash actresses from other shows on the CW? Uh, yeah. The 100. I know, I don't. I'm Fuck. Like, who, are you tra- who, who, who do you I like? Who do you like? Lo- that I mean, show is really good. Everybody. On that fucking show. I auditioned for that show. Bob Morley, I think this is his name. You did? Bob Marley? No, Morley, I think. Oh. Bob Morley. <laughs> Bob Marley's on The 100? <laughs> Whoa. I think one of, her, one of the names is Lindsay O'Brien. When do shows get syndicated? After six seasons? 100 episodes. 100 episodes. Wait, what's a syndication? So. <laughs> I had nodded to Brad because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, so you know how like. you say it then? <laughs> <laughs> because I, I like know, but I don't know. I got you. I got Not enough you. to explain to people. <laughs> Just uh, enough to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Just to like no look like you know what you're talking about, but you actually don't. Exactly. Perfect. Uh, so My you know career. how like Friends in Full House is on every channel, even yeah. though it wasn't originally on 15 channels. Right. So it's because they did so many episodes, it got syndicated. So other channels were now able to buy the rights to the show to air them. Oh, so it's 100 episodes. That's from my knowledge, yes. And then the actors make bank off it, and then it's yeah. like... Yes, because uh, they're getting security. residuals from everywhere, and I don't even know, like, I would imagine they would get money each time it's like the rights are bought as well, but I don't know. You know what I found out, I found out about TV shows? Like, actually, while watching The 100, I was... I, I was reading this article about how one of the actors on The 100 was no longer part of it because the uh, writer, director, or producer took that actor out. But I didn't realize that they 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 write seasons like season by season. Like mm-hmm. I thought it was already like a pre-established plot 
from beginning mm. to end, right? So I was like, and he was he was arguing because he's like, I got taken out. This is bullshit, whatever. I was like, that's fucking crazy. Like, you can just be taken out of a role yeah. because they want you dead in the in the series. Like, and that's what happened ultimately is that they wanted him dead. He got killed by somebody else. They're like, we don't want you on the show anymore, so we're going to kill you off. Well, you always hear about actors getting killed off. Is that where it comes from? Yeah. That's fucking insane. Yeah. Like, wow. I did not know that. How's your pineapple? <laughs> <laughs> Ew. That looks actually fucking terrible. That actually, looks... it looks so unjuicy. It's like white pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's a bad one. Yeah. Ew, and you it looks still like eat you're, it. You're eating like a raw pear, or like a, the outside of a watermelon, like the part you're not <laughs> yeah. supposed to yeah. eat. <laughs> you were also a voice on the Loud House Nickelodeon TV show. I was Margot. Did you have fun doing a cartoon? What's that like? Yeah, it was really cool. Um, it's really fun because you don't have like. You don't have to get ready. You can just wear sweatpants and show up and you get residuals from it and it's fun. You get paid really well for cartoons, right? Yeah, especially because <laughs> I, I can go and shoot two episodes of a cartoon in an hour. Because you just need to voice it. Yeah, it's so fast. And they actually they do the animation after the recording. Do they pay the same amount per episode as a show, like if they were getting the same no, ratings? No, so it's actually like, at least for me, I've never been a series regular on a voiceover show. So I have like a daily rate for voiceover. So even if I'm, it doesn't matter if I'm in the, in the studio for five minutes or five hours, I'll get paid the same because I have a daily rate. And then with acting, yeah, you have an episode rate. Got it. Who's your favorite, uh, who's your favorite superhero? I'm okay. This is like not DC, so I feel bad saying it, but I <laughs> love Spider-Man. Like, uh, all of the Spider-Mans. Big fan of every single one of them. Tobey Maguire? Yeah. Great. Andrew Garfield? Love him. Tom Holland? The best. Are you excited for the new one? The new one? There's... Oh, yes. Yeah, they were... And they were filming it in Atlanta while I was there, and I was like, how do I meet Tom Holland? Wow. I really tried. All three Spider-Mans are in the same movie. Oh, I know. That's crazy. That would be so cool. Who's the, who's the coolest superhero you've met today? To date? Today? To date. Joe. Because um, <laughs> yes. he's a superhero in my heart. Uh, I actually don't think I've met a superhero. Uh, my showrunner, he was also, he worked on Wonder Woman. And he always talks so highly of Gal. And he said, I reminded her. Me, no. I reminded him of, <laughs> I can't even talk. I reminded him of her. And I was like, okay, I can retire. Oh, that's cool. That's like the best when you when you get a compliment from somebody else that you're like yeah you remind me of him you know like the younger the younger her the younger him yeah I mean obviously I don't look like her she's like a six foot model but she must have a great personality and that's what you know because that's me Gal Gadot's six foot I, I actually have no idea she just seems like one of those like super models yeah, that like yeah, walks yeah. in and everyone heads turn on Stargirl you worked with Luke Wilson oh yeah I saw that that's really fucking cool it is cool. It's so random. Like, I'll I'll walk into my trailer and my TV will just be on. And if it's not him, it's Joel McHale. Like, one of them are always on TV because they're in every movie or show just always. So when you work with people like that, do they just come in, do that, and they're already off to the next thing? Like, are they just strictly business? So I can only speak from experience. I would assume that's how it is a lot of times. But with, like, Luke and Amy Smart, who also has such a career, they are so awesome like they're they hang out at the chairs with us Amy and I like we had it we threw a tea party for all the girls like they're so humble and great so from my experience no they're like really in it and really enjoy being there that's so sick yeah we're lucky you are one of the first people to really have a job going again being an actor since the pandemic mm -hmm. you shot an entire season of your show pre-pandemic Mm -hmm. And now you shot an entire one post-pandemic. During pandemic. During pandemic, sorry. Yeah, no, but like, because now even they've let off, like, let off a lot of the regulations and rules. But when we started, it was October. So it was like middle of it. I mean, we were still like we were having to wear masks. Like the rules they had were crazy. Yeah, I remember how pumped you were when they greenlit it. And you're like, yeah, I'm going to Atlanta soon. Yeah. Did anyone get COVID where they had to shut down production? There was one instance where we had to shut down for half day. And fortunately, it was a Friday. But the thing is, if someone tested positive, first of all, they don't believe in 
false positives. If it's a positive test, it's a positive test, period. Even if the person takes two tests after that and they both come back negative, it doesn't matter. So we, we are almost positive the two positive tests we had in like red were both false positives. Damn, that's a lot of positives. Sorry, I just said positive like 10 times. It's all times. good. It all comes out as negative at the end anyways. It's all good. Yeah, two, two positive makes negative. Look at you go. <laughs> Unless it's two positive COVID tests, that's definitely positive. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are so lucky because it was on a, a Friday. But the thing is, if you're within six feet of a person who tests positive uh, for more than 15 minutes, you have to quarantine for two weeks and you're not allowed what on the set. The fuck? So we lost probably... 25 crew members on one of the positive tests that was a false positive mind you wow. but they have to like for safety i get it uh but luckily it was on a friday so they had to like get all find this whole new crew basically to come back to work monday for the next two weeks but that's like we were so lucky that the timing of it dang yeah i have some questions okay hi annalise hello <laughs> so did you think that doing skits with joe <gasps> Did you just write these upstairs? <laughs> Do you think that doing skits with Joe would ever lead to where you are now? <laughs> are you thanking me for your career right now? Because you seem to be making a lot of people's careers on this podcast, bro. <laughs> like every person you c- that comes on and somehow has a skit with you and you're always saying, I made your career. Yeah, I started it four years ago. I put them on my Instagram and launched them. Oh, wait, you guys made skits together too? Yes. Yeah. The, the best highlights of my careers thus far. She was a candy dealer. Um, what else? We, we did so many. Yeah. We we drove. We were in, we were late to a race one time. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I loved that one with the little to- toy car. For you. It was like a Fast and Furious inspired kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> if you could have a guest on like from other superhero shows, who would you have? Ooh. Oh, like a guest star on Star Girl. Yeah, yeah. Like who's on another superhero show? Yeah. Probably. Grant Gust because I feel like he's such he kind of started like the big soup like he's flash he's been doing it for years and I would really just love to kind of see him work because he's been doing it for so long was he the originator on the CW that was the first no I guess it was Arrow, and Arrow was the, the first. It, it's the Arrowverse but then I feel like Arrow and Flash kind of came up together and I guess Grant was closer to my age and that was the show I watched more than so I guess I, I associate him with being the one, like, who, I don't know. CW crushes the superhero shows. They do. They, they really do. do. Yeah. How do, when you wear your Stargirl outfit, how does that make you feel? <laughs> um, claustrophobic, tight. No, <laughs> actually, it's great. It's so funny. People will be like, how do you get into, like, the superhero character? I'm like, as soon as I put the super suit on, my posture just changes, and I feel really powerful. And it's cool. Like, they custom made it to my body. Those suits are so expensive. I found out this year how much they cost to make. And I'm like, that's insane. How much? It'll stop. Come on. What is it? (laughs) Block this out. Breck just told us this is the reaction. What? Damn. (laughs) Wow. Wow. (laughs) What's the material? That's why it's like custom camel? material. You would think, right? Camel? Is it Bengal tiger? <laughs> it's camel expensive. I don't know. Why <laughs> That's why camel? I went Bengal tiger. <laughs> Dog? Just kidding. Like swordfish? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you could beat up Joe? Why is that a question? <laughs> She's a superhero. <laughs> Obviously she could. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Hold on. Before you answer that question, do you take uh, do you take classes for fighting? Uh, Like for Stargirl? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they put me in like a a stunt training camp and we mainly worked on bow staff work because star girl carries a yeah. staff so and i was really bad with the staff and then but like bow staff combat fighting also just like choreography because like the way you throw a punch in real life is not how you throw a punch in on tv movie. because yeah. like you you know real life you would cover your face to protect yourself where you can't cover your face on camera that's the money maker so just like even having to learn the different Ways of doing it. Yeah, she would kick your ass 100%. <laughs> I answered that question. <laughs> what was the best Hollywood movie premiere you ever went to? Did we go to one together? I don't think so. Oh, I thought we did for some reason. Where? I don't know. I'm just like picturing us. Because I went, I went to the Jurassic Park one, and I thought that was the coolest. All the desserts were dinosaur themed. Yeah, they, they had dinosaur pictures. Out. They give masks. You and Jurassic Park, bro. I don't know. It just comes up naturally every podcast. He wants me to buy him a bone, like a dinosaur bone. Do you have any? Can like, you a, can you do that? Can you buy a dinosaur bone? You can buy a dinosaur bone, and you can also buy a dinosaur skull. 
Are you? How much? It's, it's like only two hundred fifty. Like a million dollars. A million dollars. <laughs> only a million. Well, I want a saber tooth head too. That's what another one. How much is that? That would be that so was much like more. Fifty thousand, I think. Right? That's it. It was only 50, but if Ilya works really hard, it'll be here, no problem. It's If Ilya works really hard and we have five guests a week, then it'll be here next week. And we post two times a day but for like, the next three months. What would you do with it? Are you kidding? That It'd be right there. You'd be like, whoa, what's that bone? Oh, that's actually my saber tooth head. Isn't that insane that like you can get uh, a piece of history in your house that's what? I don't know I don't know how old fucking saber tooth tigers are, but thousands of years old. Like That's so cool. Speaking of old stuff, I mean, you were on a, a movie called 47 Meters Down. There were sharks there. Sharks have been around forever. Did you get to interact with any <laughs> real was sharks? A <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I, I was like, where the it. fuck are you going? With this? <laughs> That's my segue. <laughs> Did um, you get to speak of old? <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. No, I was like the mean girl who like didn't get in the water. When shows or movies ever get really successful and they make a lot of money, do you s- see any of that revenue back to you? Like, is that part of your contract or anything? Actually, there's this thing called the back end that I learned about last year. I actually read that. I read that from a book. Uh, it's called CAA. But yeah, I read that. What you're talking about. Go Re- ahead. Like, really? Yeah, about Rambo. Oh, what? okay. What did you learn? I learned that he uh, did get a back end deal and he made a shitload of money from it. So- he got zero up front. Yeah, okay, who is it? I believe it's um, Tom Hanks in Forrest Gump. He said, I don't want a single dollar, but just give me, you know, he's made millions of dollars off that film now because it's been so successful. So it's like cool if you really believe in a project, you can go in and be like, put the money that you were going to pay me towards making this movie great. And then when it's great, I'll just make money on the back end. But apparently you don't make money on the back end unless you get a person of like, ticket sales it has to be like very specific i don't know what the vocabulary is you're supposed to use wow now you just don't ask for money now you're just going right in i do work for food i uh, i have a shark jaw tattoo really <laughs> can i see oh you have jeans on. i have jeans on but just imagine a shark wait a shark jaw mm-hmm. is like ah, like yeah. open so it's like right around my knee it's because he got attacked by a shark when he was in hawaii three years ago they didn't even bite him <laughs> Annalise yeah, goes really I don't even know him and I'm like no <laughs> I'm like oh <laughs> <laughs> which one of the three of us do you think would be in the Justice Society of America I think being a superhero is all about having a kind heart so not Ilya what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> Annalise yeah, yeah! <laughs> y'all are cool too thanks thank you <laughs> <laughs> you do the off. go for it I'll do the sign out. I'm just kidding. Y'all do yeah, yeah, that. please do it. Yeah, you Actually, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I'll you go ahead. Go for it. Okay. Guys, thanks. Fuck, sorry. Sh- shut Joe, up. please, bro. <laughs> come on. Okay, guys, that was a great interview with the wonderful, beautiful, amazing, wonderful. I said wonderful Holy twice because she's that wonderful. She's really good. Greg Passenger. We we'll just call her every week. Hey, can you do our sign off? <laughs> <laughs> we were so blessed to have her. Um, listen, so uh, uh, Joe can get his. Uh, tiger, tiger tooth skull. Ti- what is it? Saber tooth. Saber tooth skull. <laughs> Same thing. Tiger tooth. Tiger tooth. What did I say? Tiger tooth. <laughs> and check out Star Girl on the CW. You can now watch season one online, right? And HBO Max. And it's on HBO Max. Yeah. Cool. And then season two coming out this summer. Ish. Ish. We'll see. We'll let you know. <laughs> but thanks, Rick, for coming. Thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. Bye. Bye.